And we'll be hearing from Tony as well. And Kwame is our head of scouts. He will be giving us the modalities uh, as to how this showcase of African Nation Tournament is uh, going. My name is Butalai Akubo, and I'm sure all my media friends here know me. Uh, so, without wasting my time, we will give uh, someone in whom the audience, he is the president of the SNK Football Management Agency, to give us a brief remark before we move to Tony. So, give uh, a round of applause for someone in Because it's, uh, it's 
uh, at the end of the day, it's about hard work. Hard work every day. So you need to know what hard work is. So uh, now we step up, uh, we go into cooperation, we talk about uh, values, we talk about strategy, operation, but at, at the end of the day, it's about what we do with the kids, with the talent. So we create a channel for them, opportunity to come in maybe to Europe, to, to, to Nordic, and um, that's a fantastic opportunity for, uh, for everybody. So for me to come to Africa, to, to Ghana, uh, fantastic. And uh, to see what Samuel and his uh, team have done so far is, uh, yeah, I, I bow to this. I think it's amazing because I know how hard it is. Yeah, you need to work every day to, to get, you know, one step further. <laughs> and uh, we create this for our children, for everybody. We, we will do our best um, at the end of the day. It's about how good are we on the strategy, how good are we on the operational part. We will be best, I know. Uh, we will support someone and his uh, team in, uh, in Ghana with uh, everything we can do from Europe, logic, guys who are sitting here is fantastic resource. Uh, someone in, in front uh, being a black star. Uh, we all know him. I'm 45 years old, so I know him also. Uh, and this is uh, very important when we talk to our children that they know who to look up for. But at the end of the day, again, it's about uh, what to do everyday life. And this is hard work. Yeah, hard work. Hard work. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That is only to come all the way from Europe to Africa. Uh, for this project means you have a good heart for Africa. And as you say, it's all about development and helping people to realize their dreams. And I'm sure uh, the kids that will have the opportunity of partaking in this showcase of African tournament will realize their dream and get to the level that the likes of somebody who can go to. So, Kodjo is our head of scouts, and he will be on the ground tomorrow to watch this case. So he will actually tell us the modalities involved in this showcase of African nations tournament. And then I can be sorry. Born in Ghana, but obviously um, I've been living in the UK since I was 10 years old. You know, so, but I've come back from my country and I've come to serve and you know, try and um, open doors here for the young generation. So, yeah, so thank you. Uh, any questions? Yeah, they will ask you a question. Tell us about the modalities. What okay, okay. you're looking for tomorrow. Okay, yeah, so basically. Um, a showcase of African nation is to unearth talent. I mean, that's the basic of it, basically, in a sense. So we all know that Africa is, you know, full of potential, yeah, but there's no structure in place yeah, to actually mold these players yeah, and actually push them out yeah, to be that professional player that we all know that they can be, you know, in a sense. That, you know, we're very physical players, but football is about intelligence. Yeah, so we may actually bring that on the field. Technically, they have to be above. Yeah, because football has to be very comfortable. Yeah, and also have the confidence and also have that belief in yourself. Yeah, and actually, you know, I mean, be very comfortable on the ball itself is priceless. And if you're able to position yourself in every position on the field, very valuable to any team. 
So that's why I say that intelligence is a must. And also discipline. Discipline and be consistent. Yeah, so I mean, yes, yeah, so obviously, as I said, it's an MSI tournament, yeah, um, which will be one hour per game. Yeah, so again, that gives everyone plenty of time to be seen. You know, so just yeah, come and show what you're about. And yeah, and that's it really. Okay, so thank you very much, Mike. Uh, we have done this whole MSI one hour, and we have it now uh, we have to say I didn't get enough time to showcase my talent. So this, the, the, one hour is enough time for the shout to recognize the quality that you have. Mr. Kojo Kasten, uh, also a picture of a body teacher, but we also see a few ways as we still wait for the Yeah, um, it's interesting that uh, I'm still in this for I but uh, one that I can say is um, it's a great privilege to be part of this. Um, I look forward to um, everything that this project is about. Getting the talents in, guiding them, leading them, placing them in the right places. And with the right partnership that we intend to create, uh, we look forward to that exposure which will turn out some of the great players that Ghana can be proud of. Um, this is a dream that uh, someone has uh, created. Um, and it's something that I think uh, basically uh, the country should embrace and everyone should embrace. This is something that we are missing. And I believe that um, every one of us here uh, should support this initiative um, so that Ghana can be put on the world map again. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, as uh, Mr. Edward has said, there we have another legend in our mix. We are blessed. To have a Samoan Jan in Bafo Jan Great Presentation. The whole amount of And so, as Samoan Jan is also joined us, and you also sitting on the high table. Uh, I mean, somehow, with some great friends who are also available for the black side. To have a Samoan Jan come for such an occasion, this is big. I mean, it's huge. Minena Kasala, but I'm starstruck again. See, because it's a Samoan Jan. I don't need to say much. So, uh, Samoan Jan has also joined us. Uh, Samoan Obarite, but I'll put you on the spot. Okay. Why? <laughs> Why can't you support our link? Of course, of course, of course. I have some of my colleagues. Somebody who has been very, very supportive since day one. Um, as you can see, we're here to support. Uh, um, we always support good initiatives. You know, um, I have my project, this also have this project. And we're working as a team. You know, we talk behind the scene. And um, for what I've been in the game and for what he's doing now after his career, I think um, it's fair. But it's the right thing to do as a brother. And um, I'm always here, I always tell you, hey, we have to support each other. And uh, this is what is happening. And uh, I'm very, very proud of him. He's been somebody who saw me when he was growing up, and then he became who he is. And um, we met in the national team. We, we, we had a lot of uh, great things together in camp. And it's like life, life of a football, right? So it's, I'm happy to see my guys uh, progressing in life, and um, if you see somebody progressing in life, and you see him, him touching um, different lives, especially this young generation coming up, hey, I think that it's a good initiative, and we need to support him. Thank you. Thank you. So that is the next
where's our good friend coming from in Norway and what the purpose will be all about, you know, how it's impact on the foundation or the agency and with, with the more details on the purpose and how it impact on this so this is how I'll do it. I'll take three questions for us, then the answer, then I'll come back and take the other question. So if anyone wants to ask a question, that person should just let me know. Okay, Alfred. Yes, I mean, I want you to highlight on um, uh, where, where exactly the players are. Uh, this guy, maybe, maybe, is it um, a club being players or maybe across the country or maybe, maybe West Africa players can also have the chance to come and participate in this particular initiative. That's what I want you to know. Okay, so final question for the first round. That's okay. That one. So my question is right. I want to ask a very technical question. So what is the right mix when it comes to talent? Is it now the right mix? We always talk about intelligence, we talk about hard work, we talk about physicality. What is the right mix now to success? Thank you. So, so can, I, can I take a picture of you? <laughs> <laughs> Two questions for you and one for me. First of all, so I'm happy with you. So you answer the first one, then you go to South. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. When Sami was speaking, he said he wants to give out to society. And then when Tony was also speaking, he said there is a need to give the enabling environment for the talent around. Then my senior brother also did mention about support. So the partnership is about support. What the Nordic want to do in Africa, as in football management events, is here as a home for them. What we want to do outside there, they are there for us. So in effect, we are just creating a synergistic environment so that we can share our expertise and ensure that the, the general society benefits from there. So let me borrow the words of Asamuajan. It's just a support system between the two of us. Thank you very much. Then the second question as to is it just for Ghanaians or not? Uh, there is a saying that says that if knowledge is in China, you have to pay the highest price and go for it. The showcase is for everybody. Even if you can get somebody to board a flight tonight and be available tomorrow to exhibit the potential, why not? Uh, SEP Football Management Agency is not boundary limited or geographically restricted. We believe in talent. Wherever the talent is, we will try our best and reach out to you. But if we are not reaching out to you, don't wait. Because you might wait forever. So this, this tournament that we are having tomorrow is for virtually everybody. We have people from Togo, Nigeria, Burkina, South Africa who have come in here. Somebody will say, how do you get there? We are in a global village now. Social media is everywhere. He posts and people from all spectrum or all phase of life like and comment. So the tournament is for every person. So far as you fall within the age of 17 to 21 years, you are welcome. You come in, you get registered, then you are given the opportunity to play. So that is what we have. Thank you very much. Okay, so I hope I shall understand. Yes. So the bit about the technical yes. aspects. Yes. Okay, you want to say something? I think uh, I, would also, I would also want to add something about what uh, Sherry just said. Um, uh, my, my boy here is from Italy. He just came yesterday. He came yesterday. Oh. And uh, what we started is, it's not only about what I care. It's, we started from Ghana. We we're going all over the regions to, you know, to, to take the best ones. So, he thinks that what we are doing is very important. That's why he came all the way to the to come to Paris. So everybody is always supposed to know everybody. Okay, the bit about the technique, I hope that we got our
the right mix. The right mix when it comes to uh, on discovering the right talent in the modern era. Okay. Um, well, physically, it's a must. Technically, it's a must. Understanding the game is a must. You're also understanding your manager's philosophy is a must. Yeah, because he cannot come onto the pitch and actually show you what you need to do. So you need to listen, grasp, and then take it into the game and basically demonstrate what he can I mean, I That's it. What he's um, um, said to you, basically. That says, yeah. So I would say that a modern day player has to be versatile to play any position. Yeah, but also have to be committed and disciplined to his job. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That's it to me. So uh, we'll take another three sets of questions. Uh, if anyone wants to ask, yes, we jump behind. Okay. So Josiah has one to ask. All right, good evening. Yeah. Um, Joseph with Max T and all those hard times. Um, I want some clarification with regards to what the whole thing is about. Is it the sports agency or the football agency? So if it's sports agency, are you looking beyond football to also you know, try and get some players or athletes, if I should put it the right word? And also, in recent times, we've seen how agencies and players have developed rates you know, at some point. Um, during the journey. So I want to know what the S income agency is doing to make sure that those things do not happen and at least to maintain a very, very credible brand. Thank you. Okay, so let's acknowledge the presence of our patron, Nana Abuata. Yeah. 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 Yes, so that is Nana Abuata, yeah. the chief of Kuno Affected. So if anyone would want to ask another question, so Josiah has one. Uh, we take two more, two more questions if anyone wants to ask. Okay, oh, see me. This is my name is Yes, yes. a lot have been said about football, football. Uh, for some time now, the ladies' version is growing gradually. Uh, so I want to know if someone uh, who will use one eye to also extend the help behind with Asamoidan and all around. Also, see if the need is in the potential can also so it benefits more from the money that you guys are giving to the <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which kind of money that is. <laughs> that is, you will not give you the ordinary. So, I'll take the final question, then we will. Okay, uh, you want to ask another? Um, so, I'll make it short. Since it's an uh, age restricted uh, competition or an um, event, I want to know what stringent measures have been put in place to find the people with the right age. Because for the past, I don't So, our vice president, Sheldon, will answer the questions for you. But I want some to talk about the age. Later, on the age. Oh, thank you very much. To answer the first question, as we move this one in the stages, our focus is on football. For now, our focus is on football. Anything else might be later, but our focus now, short, medium, and long term, is on football. So please, let's bear that in mind. So the issue about rates between agencies and players, uh, you can see that we, are, we have experienced people on the team. The likes of Asamwajan, our senior brother, the likes of Bafojan, and even someone even himself. And you see, he's using his very own self as a case study. I was banned at a point in time. Is he going to watch for other people to be banned? No. So we are, we are harnessing experience and we are going to ensure that players understand what they are coming into, agencies understand what they are coming into, 
and then even the clubs involved will understand what they are coming into. That brings it to legality. We are not operating outside legality. And nobody, no player is going to work with SIFMA, someone even football management agency or human capital investment under duress or undue influence. We come clear, we understand the terms of the contract before we append our signatures. Most often, people are in a hurry to succeed, so they just write anything. But if you are in a hurry to succeed and then you shoot yourself in the foot, you must be ready to mess that foot. But also, we are not here to capitalize on other people's talent and expertise, no. It's a win-win for everybody in the value chain. But the anchor is on understanding. Now, the next person talks about women and a certain kind of honey. Hmm. I don't know that kind of honey, hmm. but as I'm is here, hmm. recently, I think just two days ago, he and my president and other people learned the original games. I'm joining you to tax them to look at the women too. Because without the women, they can't give birth to the men. So please. <laughs> <laughs> And so this is what we are in for. We are not in to use other people's talent to our benefit. We have a community to serve, a people to serve. And I still stand by what Asamwa said today. It's a support system. We want to support other people make it. We just want to support other people make it. One of the things we've seen in Africa is that support and enabling environment normally are not there. Mm. That is the main reason why SIFMA is out, that is the main reason why Stony came, and that is the main reason why our senior brother has come out. You know some people that if they have gotten certain kind of platforms, they would have been on top, they would have been on airwaves, and maybe the closest we can get to is to watch them on television. But now we are wallowing in our very society as if we don't have anything to do. So, once again, we are in to support. Thank you very much. So, uh, I think all the questions have been answered. Okay, the final one about the age. What do you think about the age? Uh, thank you very much. The issue with the age is now you cannot falsify the age because of the Ghana card and the utilization. Now, let's make it that way to wait until you have the contract before you go and say you are the age. If you don't have Ghana card, you cannot transact a lot of transactions in Ghana. So the Ghana card itself is helping to streamline some of these things. So if you come and maybe you are 50 years and your Ghana card says you are 70 years, you will play, but time will expose you. <laughs> so I think now, yeah. now an excellent, I would say, digitalization is helping us streamline some of these things so that the right people will give you the right opportunities. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Sheldon. I need the mic for the end of Sigma. And uh, we are closer to uh, signing the partnership, though, but before that, we can do this without taking a brief remark from our victor, Nana Abuata, the chief of Uma. Nana, we are Uma. Thank you very much, Mr. Kuku. And then the others. I'm so delighted to be here to honor this program. In fact, I came in late, but uh, per what I have heard, we have to go to support the program, which is very important to us. As a mother has been in the football industry. Also, I'm also once a footballer. I'm to my That is bad for you. It's my baby. So, please, let us all support this program. It is very important to us. You know, we want to nature that the youth will have a very talent in this country and that will I mean enable us to get a Samajans, the Barford uh, Barford Jones, and then some of the incomes. We want to see these kind of people in the future. So uh, in short, let us all rally behind it.
and make it successful. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that is uh, Nana Abuata, the chief of the market. Uh, Nana is a big man. Nana is a big man. And I'm, I'm, all of you believe it, but when I said I'm big, I was a big man. I said I was a big man. <laughs> so that is Nana Bata. So we got into the most important part uh, where we're going to see the contract being signed between Tony, who has come to Africa for the first time. He's enjoying himself. He's having fun. I wish you come back again. <laughs> so Tony will come back again. And uh, everything will be explained by the past president as the contract is being signed. Thank you very much. One of the questions that came up earlier on was, uh, was to do with rifts between players and agents. But in every corporate setting or human environment, conflicts are inevitable. Conflicts are inevitable. Whether it's a financial institution, whether it's uh, in the public sector or in the private sector. So conflicts are not new the human sphere. That is why there is always a need to be guided before we enter into an agreement or an arrangement. So this is preceding what we intend to even do for our young brothers who we are going to nurture. Anybody who wants to be associated with us, we are not just going to leave it in the open. We are going to enter into an agreement with them. I want to emphasize, Tony is here because he believes that there is something in Africa and Ghana. One day I heard someone who say something, he said, I'm one of the top scorers in the World Cup. Oh, the top scorers. No, someone. But you see, it is not being echoed. You understand? It's not being echoed. But those outside, they really know. They know Asamoah is, is a top scorer. Yeah. So why are we not echoing our greatness, our strength, and our skill? So now we are beginning to appreciate our own. And in order to partner with people outside, you not just be there for the outside world to come. If you value me, I value myself. So let's come together officially, let's be guided. That is the main reason why we have our contract. The content of the contract is confidential. However, it's a productive, progressive, and a purposeful contract. It's a productive, progressive, and purposeful contract to ensure that both parties are cushioned and are provisioned well enough to function on their core mandate. So representing uh, Tony is representing a company, his company from the way, and that is the human capital invest. They invest in human capital. This afternoon we had a discussion with Tony and he was saying that I'm not just in here because I want footballers to be out there. I don't see footballers, I see life. And it's really touched me. He says, I see life. I want them to do well. So you people should think about their education and other aspects of their lives. Someone who also stands for the same thing. And our legend also does see. So we are signing the contract in the open for everybody to know that there is a partnership agreement between S Kung Football Management Agency and HK Invest AS from Norway.
feel that it's, um, I wish them well. Uh, I know he came to Ghana because of the companies he has in Samoa. And um, I don't know the discussions that went on behind the scenes. But for a person to take a flight, spend as much as he can to be here to have this deal um, signed, I think um, it's something important for him and uh, very important for, for Samuel as well. You know, Samuel have been monitoring him. He doesn't know I'm a CI. <laughs> <laughs> I've been monitoring him, especially on social media. He's been, hey, let's come in. He's yeah. working so hard. <laughs> Working so hard, and uh, as I said, I'm very proud of him. And uh, what I would say is, I wish him well. And uh, my advice to him is, hey, you don't like to do uh, this thing behind yet. You know, in the past, there are a lot of agency that we always have broken with. And um, I'm sure he's been through a lot, and he won't let any player of his go through that. So I just wish him luck, and uh, hopefully, I'm a senior brother. Yeah. 